Welcome back to a new weekly vlog. It's a Monday. It's about 8 a.m. As you can tell, it's still dark outside. I went to bed super late last night, so I was really tired this morning and I didn't go to the gym. We'll try again tomorrow. Um, last day, wearing my hair like this. I'm going to do my hair today. I was going to do it yesterday, but my mom and I both were like, let's just do it on Monday. Like, it's fine. We had a long day, so I'm gonna relax my hair today, which I'll show you. This is the relaxer I always use. Um, I'm gonna do that later today. I'm just wearing my wig like this. I actually think I'm gonna try to make this wig look good, like when I like lay it down. I just like need to bleach the knots and like pluck it because it's quite old and it's not like it doesn't look the way that I feel like wigs look now. Like it's I'm pretty sure this is a few years old, but. The hair is really nice, so I'm gonna give that a try as well. For now, it's just with a beanie because I don't want to lay it down. Be clear. Anyways, it's a new day. My apartment is nice and clean, and I have my week planned. I'm feeling good. Um, I think for breakfast, I'm actually going to have last night's dinner because I didn't get groceries yesterday, so I don't really have much in my fridge right now. <laughs> my fridge is kind of empty, but I'm going to get groceries today. What's on the schedule for today? Let me take you through it. Let me set up my desk. It's still so dark out. Like, I cannot wait for spring because we're going to have longer days, more light, less depression. <laughs> Let's see. So I've been using my desk planner to plan my week. So I did this last night and then it's windy. So something's hitting the wind uh, or it's hitting the window. Um, but then I've been up. Okay. What am I saying? I've just been using the reminders app on my iPhone and I actually love this shit. Like I think it's actually so great. Because I'm very much like a list person and I love taking things off. Like seeing it disappear is like, I don't know, it's very motivating in my opinion. So I've made my work schedule for today. I need to edit some stories. I'm going to work on my outreach, outreach list and send it to my manager. And I need to DM back a few brands that have DM me over the past few weeks that I haven't replied to yet. I'm going to film my outfit of today gonna post some shoes and bags on my fitted and then i'm gonna edit the weekly vlog that i filmed last week which is already up by now um so that's kind of like my work for today i also need to get groceries i need to put away my laundry and then i'm gonna do my hair today as well so that's kind of the plan, taking you guys through another week of mine. I'm pretty sure last week's vlog is going to be like really long. I mean, I'm going to edit it today, but I'm expecting it to be over an hour. So let me know how you enjoyed that. And yeah, if you're loving the weekly vlogs, I'm actually really going to try to keep up. And like, I actually want to upload a vlog like every week of this year. Like, I want to make that my goal. Um, let me know if you guys would want to see any other type of lifestyle videos, like a morning routine or like another Sunday reset or something like that. You can definitely film that as well. But as of right now, I really just want to focus on the vlogs because I feel like those are just like the most fun on my channel. If you want to see more unfiltered me, follow me on TikTok. I post kind of, I feel like I am a bit more like funny on there. I use my humor to like cope and like I just kind of, I'm not as serious and then on instagram it's like fashion content if you want to see that so it's always linked in the description also this week i want to brainstorm about my solo podcast i'm thinking that would be something i'd want to launch in like february march i think that's i don't need like months to like work on that i just need to get a good brainstorm in get some branding done i need to decide on a name if you guys can think of a fun name for my podcast let me know 
I don't want it to be like generic, like unfiltered or like, I don't know. I feel like everyone uses that. I want something fun. And it's like just going to be like a girl chat, like FaceTime vibe. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. <laughs> happy with the changes that I've made in my apartment because I feel like I mean I know I'm not gonna be able to move anytime soon and I was really like in that mindset of I need to leave I can't live here anymore and now that I've like changed up a little bit I just feel like I have like a new apartment again like it feels fresh I feel like it really matches like the lifestyle that I'm going for and I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, changing up my apartment definitely has helped a lot with like how I feel. So that's good. Just to give you an update on smoking weed, I don't think that I, I will like fully quit for now, but my most important like goal or like my focus right now is just not waking and baking and just like going through my day without being high like that's the main goal right now because i think that's the biggest challenge as well i don't even think it's necessarily like fully quitting like i don't think i have to fully quit right now it's just a the lifestyle change that I need to make, you know, and not being high during the day. So even if I smoke at nighttime after I finished what I had to do for the day, that's okay with me. Um, one step at a time, you know. And then I think once I've gotten used to like not being high during the day and really get through that, then I can make that step of like just cutting it back more and more. Um, but I loved weed too much to like fully cut it out, honestly. At nighttime, like, I just love using it to relax. Um, I'm just gonna try to not do it every single day just so that I can, you know, try to cut back as much as possible. Like if I don't feel like I need it necessarily, then I'm not gonna do it. I don't think I'm gonna smoke today because I need to do my hair. So I think I just wanna put the focus on my hair and then tomorrow's a new day and like, you know. Anyways. That's that. I'm already feeling a lot better and I'm starting to get used to, you know, not being high during the day. The only thing I'm struggling with now is like getting up in the morning. Like, ugh, my bed's just too comfortable. And like, I was able to wake up super early before because I would wake up and then I would smoke a joint and like, I would wake up super early for it because that was my motivation. <laughs> we will get through this and I'm already like super proud of the progress I've made in the past week. It's been more than I have in a in like I don't know months. So I feel like for a lot of people, like 2022 was just a bad year. Honestly, since the pandemic, anyways, like it's just been like hard. But I feel like 2023 for like a lot of us is like this new start almost. Like I don't know. It just feels different. The energy feels different. I was just watching Arnell's vlog because she's pregnant. Ah, so exciting. Um, I actually already knew before she posted the vlog because I'm in our close friends. And I saw the bump and I was like, ah, I'm so excited. Like, you guys know I would love to have a baby. So whenever I see like my favorite women on social media having kids and all these things, like, I just get really excited. I think it's raining, so I'm not gonna go out with him just yet. I'm just gonna wait until the rain stops because I hate walking in the rain. He hates it too, so there's like no point. I'm also picking back up my driver's license this week. I took a little break last week. Now I'm picking them back up, and then I have my exam in February, so. Fingers crossed, we're just gonna pick it back up. I'm actually feeling more confident about it now 
than I was before. So I do think that this time around I'm going to pass it and manifesting my dream car. I actually, no, that's not true because I'm not necessarily going to get my dream, dream car now because I feel like for my first car, that's not smart. But I have to say, like, I've been saving, like, Range Rovers and stuff to my Pinterest board and it'd be giving, you know what I mean? It'd be giving. I wouldn't get, like, a new Range Rover, probably one that's been, like, used, but she's just so cute, like, the steering wheel and everything. When, like, the experience of sitting in that car is just something that I want, so we'll see, we'll see, I don't know. <laughs> I wish I had a Red Bull right now. I already had a coffee this morning, actually, so I should have been drinking Red Bull, but I could use one. So I was, uh, sometimes when I'm on Twitter, I will look up my name to see what people are saying about me, right? And I was seeing really sweet tweets. Like, I usually come across tweets where people recommend my channel, so if you do that, thank you so much. Um, and then, I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm just going to say this because... I read it right so at first i was reading this girl she said i'm so attached to lisa noah if she ever decides to quit youtube i will literally fall apart girl i'm not gonna quit i promise actually i can't promise that well <laughs> i love you but you'll be fine even if i do end up you know quitting youtube one day hopefully by that time i've been able to set you up for success and you won't feel like you need me anymore <laughs> um anyway someone else said watching lisa no brings me so much joy and then i read a tweet that said lisa noah's old content like is better than her current content and this girl said for real i literally unsubscribed it's so un underwhelming and i was just thinking about that and like i i get it like my content is definitely different from what it used to be but i also think like i'm just a different person than i used to be like Compared to when I first started, I was like 17, 18. Also, when I was still living at home, like I was able to make such different content because I had such different responsibilities and now I'm like a full-blown adult and like life hits you and like it's so different. But I hope that you guys are still enjoying and I hope that I get to inspire you guys in a different way than I used to because, you know, I'm not that person anymore and like that's okay and it's okay to change. Um, I guess that's kind of what I took from this. Not necessarily like, oh, people don't like me anymore. Like, that's not really what, you know, what I should take from that. I should just take from it, like, people change and people evolve and some people grow with you and some people don't. And I know that a lot of you are grown with me and that's, like, what I cherish the most. And, yeah. I don't know i just wanted to bring it up because i read the tweet this morning and it kind of stuck with me but then i was like i shouldn't be sad about that like it should be more motivating than that it should make me like sad or anything um yeah just gonna continue working for a few hours and just taking a coffee break because I can't focus anymore. Hopefully this will get my energy back up. Um, I also just filmed some random TikToks. Last night I was smoking and whenever I hear a sound and I think of something funny, I'll like record it. And then when I think I look cute, I'll like redo it with the same like joke. So I just filmed a few and I just drafted them and then I just end up posting whatever. Just because it's fun and I get to kind of show more of like an unfiltered side of me. I'm a little tired. I mean, I went to bed kind of late. So, that wasn't great. I'm sure there's plenty of people that would watch like an hour, like an hour and a half long vlog. So my main priority today is definitely finishing the vlog. Um, even though I also need to post on Vinted, I'm also posting on Vinted tomorrow or like I 
planned out time to do that as well. And I really just kind of want to finish the vlog today so that it's ready for Sunday and I don't have to worry about it all week. But I still have quite a few hours to go through, so we'll see. Mm. I've been loving my coffee lately, so I put hazelnut and vanilla syrup in there with oat milk. And then I use these Nespresso cups. Oh, actually, is it Nespresso? Lore? I'm not sure. It looks like this. It's Elegante. That's the one I use. Very good. I have edited for so long today. I can't look at a screen anymore. I have a little bit left to do, but I did a lot. So I'm going to finish it tomorrow. Because I'm literally like, ugh, my ears hurt from my headphones. Like, I can't anymore. I basically edited all day. It's almost 5 right now. But I haven't been able to focus and edit like this in so long. And I'm, like, looking at the content. I'm so happy with the content I filmed. And, like, I don't know, I feel really good about it. But I'm definitely done for today. I never ended up posting on Vinted because I really want to focus on the vlog and now the lighting's already bad. So I'm gonna, well, I have the plan for tomorrow as well. So it's fine that I didn't get to that today, but I did a lot of editing and I'm like, I'm over it now. So I think I'm actually gonna quickly run to get some groceries because my mom's gonna come do my hair in a few hours. But before then I wanna have groceries done and I'm probably going to get some weed and roll a joint at her place and bring it home to either smoke after I do my hair or before, but I need it because I'm just like, <laughs> I just need it. But I'm so proud of myself for the work that I did today. This is what I wanted to do, right? Because before, like, I would wake up and I would smoke and, like, I would just not be able to focus on editing. It's probably because of the weed as well. Like, I sit there for like an hour and then I just couldn't even continue so I'm really happy um I'm happy about today and I feel like I accomplished what I needed to so oh, oh I've been in this chair for hours uh, need to get up oh. struggle to get out of bed this morning <laughs> it's currently 9 30 and i'm gonna go to the gym even though i don't like going to the gym at this time because usually it's a lot more busy i just don't want to skip like i keep skipping and i just need to i need to get past that you know i don't know how to even say it but if i keep skipping i'm never gonna go so i just need to go i put on a hat with this wig because and I wanted to look cute. I didn't feel like wearing my hair in a bun. So I didn't end up doing my hair yesterday because, well, when I was on my way home with my mom, she fell. And luckily she's okay, but it was just like so sad. And like after that, I was like, mom, let's just not do this. Like, let's just do it tomorrow. I wanted her to just go back home and like rest. And like, it was just honestly a really sad, sad thing. Um, I couldn't help her like, I don't know. I don't even want to talk about it because it just makes me sad. But she's okay, luckily. She does kind of... Her body hurts, but she didn't break anything. The only thing she broke was her glasses. That was what she was most mad about. Um, and she had a little cut on her face. But, yeah. So, anyways. Um, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to train quads and glutes. Which I was meant to do yesterday. So, I'm going to do it today. Um... And yeah, I'm actually going to be working at Starbucks later today because I wanted to, I don't know, I think it'll be good to have like different spots where I do different things. And today I want to focus on planning out content, coming up with content ideas. I think I'm going to set up my iPad for that because I have an iPad, I just haven't used it. 
and I usually use my iPad when I'm traveling because it's like a nice way to like watch YouTube videos and stuff but where is it actually I'm gonna put it on the charger because I want to be able to bring this with me when I go to Starbucks I'm gonna set up my like a notion page for my content calendar which I already had I just need to make a new one and I also want to do some brainstorming for the solo podcast um just spend like maybe two hours at Starbucks doing that I think that would just be nice oh this doesn't even go in here um, I need to find my charger. <laughs> yeah, I ended up putting this wig on with a hat because I just wanted to feel cute while working out. I don't know. I feel like it's more motivating when I like my like when I like how I look when I'm working out because it just makes you feel more confident. Um. Oh. No, this is not it. I'm trying to find a cable for my to charge my iPad with, but none of these are what I'm looking for. I just put so much. Where is it? Anyways. Yeah, I got it. Like, I need this one. Okay, so I'm going to charge that so that I can bring it with me. And I just need to, like, set up my iPad again anyways because I haven't used it in a while. And I'll probably put my wallpaper on there and everything. Okay. I've got this, like, case with a... Um, keyboard, which is great. And then I have an Apple Pen. This is the Pro, I think, 11 inch or 9. I don't know. Actually, it might be 9 inch. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym now and then get ready for the day. And tomorrow I'm shooting content again, which I'm excited about. Like, I want to shoot content. I just need to do my hair first, but. Oh, I just noticed my brightness is up. Okay, let's go. This is what I'm wearing. I wore this, I think, two days ago. Or was it yesterday? I don't know. But just wearing it on top of this set active sports bra. I don't know, the black leggings. And this is from Snipes.
had a really good gym session and I'm gonna go take a shower. I just wanted to play with my baby. gym session and I'm glad that I went even though I didn't go at the time I wanted I'm so glad I went and I think I need to keep up with that like if I'm struggling to wake up early for the gym then I'll just have to go a bit later like I just don't want to skip out on the gym like, I don't care as much if I'm not waking up early right now especially because it's like you know with like daylight savings I feel like now like it's just so dark still at 7 a.m. so it doesn't even feel like it's morning so like I'm okay with waking up a bit later as long as I just stop skipping the gym. And then once spring and summer hits, I'll probably get up like early again because the sun comes up earlier and it's like, I don't know, it's nicer to wake up early in the summer. I was like, let me spend a little bit of quality time with my baby because I've been so busy recently and then, you know, whenever I'm busy, it gets less attention. So I always have to make up for it. I don't even know why I'm laying on the floor. I just felt like it. Starbucks right now it's such shit weather like it's just been raining all day but I'm putting on this jacket it's from Pangaea I got it not this past winter but the winter before so like 2021 um, I don't know if they still sell it but I'll try to link it down below if they do but it's the perfect jacket for when it's raining because it has a hood and none of my other jackets do so I'm going to bring my iPad, it's all charged, so I'm going to set it up, and then when I'm done, I'm going to quickly go to my mom's. Let's go.
wax my hair. <coughs> Damn. And I just washed it. And <clears throat> as you can see, it's pretty clear like what I need to dye and like the new growth that we relaxed. I feel like my hair isn't like I feel like it's like t I think it's called Texlax. Like there's still texture in there. Um, although it might not seem like it. Like if you go in there, there's still certain parts that are like curly or that like even right here, like there's a little bit of a curl. Like not everything is stick straight. Um, which is probably better for my hair, but my roots are now they're straight, like they're real good because they were just so thick and it's so hard to deal with like the two textures. Um but yeah, it's all relaxed again and I'm happy, but I need to dye it now, so I'm gonna use this the door. I should probably use gloves and put Vaseline around my hairline. I'm really just gonna put this in messily because it's just black hair dye, so I'm just gonna section it off and then just put it in with my hands, but I'm literally just gonna put this all over because it needs to like process for, it says with heat, I'm not gonna use heat, but it says that it needs to process for 15 minutes. Um, and then you rinse it out. Okay, I'm just gonna do this while I like watch a video or something because I don't want to do this. Like I'm so tired. I need to just do something to distract myself. in my hair i'm just gonna heat up some dinner it's late dinner it's 9 30 but my mom made pasta so i took that home with me and i'm gonna do a bit more work on my ipad once i get into bed it's probably gonna be a late night but it's all right i forgot my bag at my mom's literally so dumb but i have two bags with me so I kind of understand why I forgot it. <coughs> so I don't have my contents on, but I do have my personal phone, luckily, or else I would have gone back to get it. Um, so I'm just gonna pick it up tomorrow morning. Um, I'm gonna shoot content tomorrow. I'm gonna film a chit chat, get ready with me, cause then my hair is done. I'm gonna, I can like put on makeup and stuff. Uh, I haven't worn my makeup in so long. I'm just looking at my calendar, by the way. This is maybe a bit of a weird angle. Um, gonna continue editing the vlog tomorrow. I think I'll get it finished tomorrow. I'll do like the finishing touches and like any like text that I wanna add. This is not a good angle. I'm gonna just, I don't know where to put it. It's not even a good angle and it might fall. Looks so good. I'm just 
I'm gonna eat this and then and then I'm gonna rinse out my hair and I should definitely blow dry it I'll probably strain it in the morning fucking good the next day and i'm about to go straighten my hair this morning i spent a bit more time on my podcast like mood board vision board and i have some really fun ideas i'm really excited about this one i'm also going to be finishing up some sims content this week i haven't posted anything new just because i've been prioritizing my other work and things and i'm finding it kind of hard to make time for it now that i'm kind of picking back up my other content definitely still something i'm going to be working on but it's just not like my main priority at the moment i'm gonna use this heat protectant i'm just gonna wear my hair in a bun but i do want to straighten it because that makes the bun like super sleek so Maybe I'll cut off a bit of my ends as well. The hair dye took really well. Once I finish my hair, I'm gonna film a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm gonna go on a walk with Blue and then I'm gonna go, I need to pick up my bag at my mom since I forgot it yesterday. And I've got some vintage orders to ship out. I am gonna shoot content in the studio. So that's like what today's gonna be like. Um, but I'm actually really excited to start the podcast. I'm just going to continue to do my research and figure out exactly how I want to do everything. But I think it would be really fun. And I have some really fun like ideas maybe for like merchandise, like cute like notebooks and like a journal. And I want it to be like, a, I don't know, like a productive but also like relaxing <laughs> thing for you guys. My hair is like so broken off. Can you see that? I have like like the back of my hair. This was all really broken off and it's like growing back now. But it's just so uneven. So I might trim my ends a little bit when I finish straightening it. <coughs> yeah, I'm just going to do this and watch some YouTube videos. I've been following like new people on YouTube. I'm really focused on like following people that inspire me and this is something i'm going to be talking about in the podcast as well because social media can be so bad for you like obviously i know you guys watch me and i hope that i have like a positive effect on your mental health because i know that social media can also be just so draining and so toxic so i will be talking about that as well in the podcast but I've really been focused on just following and watching people that inspire me and that have like a positive effect on me. Oh my god, I'm so excited to have black hair again. I don't know, it's just, I feel like it makes your hair look healthier as well. Like, it was just looking kind of damaged and I feel like this instantly gives your hair that like healthy look. So, <laughs> from what I do to my hair, I feel like my hair still is pretty healthy. I just have a lot of hair and it's really thick, so... Even if it breaks off, like you can't even really tell because I just have so much hair.
I just finished filming my chit chat and get ready with me. Um, my face is looking a little bit. I mean, is it orange? It's not orange, I don't know. But since I lost my tan, like, I don't know, I just obviously it's very much darker than my face usually looks, but I think the makeup turned out cute. Um, I have to say, I think I prefer myself without makeup most of the time, like, even though this is fun, like, I just don't feel like this is really me, like, this is me for, like, photos, but this isn't me for, like, every day. Oh, I've made such a mess from filming, um, but I actually don't have time to clean it up. So I'm going to get my shit together because I need to leave and <clears throat> I need to quickly go on a walk with Blue before I leave as well. The sun is out. I want to catch it before it goes. And then I'm going to go to my mom's to get my bag and print my shipping labels. And then I'll see you guys when I'm at my studio. I need to clean here this week. Um, I was meant to meet up with a friend on Saturday, but we moved it to next week. So I think I might do that on Saturday. Cause it's just so dirty here especially from like the people coming in for the leak like the floors are like disgusting so i really need to clean here this week um but anyways i just got to the studio um i need to charge this phone because it was at my mom's I'm gonna show you guys the outfits that or the pieces that I got to style. And then I also have some clothes here still that I could use. I brought my iPad because I yesterday I looked up some content inspo. Um, oh. So I want to reference that when I'm shooting so that I actually I'm shooting what I want to shoot when I'm not just like winging it. I got my labels printed out at my mom's. I already sold two of the shoes that I put up yesterday, but they're at home, so I'm going to pack them at home and then send them out tomorrow. I got my tripod for my phone, which I forgot last time I was here, so definitely need this. I think I'm going to use... The sun right now is out, so I want to make use of that before it goes down. I definitely picked out a good day to shoot because the sun's out today, and that's just, just what I needed. I brought my wig with me because I want to do a few looks with the wig. So, I brought my wig with some headbands, and let me show you. Oh, no, my lip products. Oh, God. Okay. I brought my lip combo for today. MAC, kind of sexy. Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown. Fenty Beauty Hot Cherry. Then I brought these sunglasses, as well as a silver pair. And then I brought my Dior ones, which are kind of broken, so I'm going to be really careful with them. I brought a bunch of headbands in different colors, like neutral colors. I brought my scarf, because I'm first going to do something with this, I think, like a bun. I brought my wig and a wig cap. <laughs> um, I brought an extra bra, like, because I'm wearing a black one right now, and this is nude. I brought some shoes, so I brought these boots. I'm going to keep all my heels and, like, boots and stuff here because I don't wear them out anyways for now so I'm just going to keep them here to style. These are from I think these are from Naked yeah they're from Naked like a croc and then and I brought these from mm, I think Misguided but these are a little bit too small for me but they're still fine to shoot with I love the color. Another hair brush. Another headband. Yeah, these are cute. I brought this dress from Jerv Avenue. I've had this, I think. I've had this for like a year. But I still haven't worn it. It still has a tag on there. 
I want to see if maybe I can shoot in it because I've just had it for so long. I need to use it for something. I brought some white leg pants from Lux to Kill. Um, this little frilly top. It's kind of like an extra. This is from Tiger Mist. This top from Danielle Guzio. I definitely want to do this with a headband. I think maybe like, I don't know, green or something. That's definitely a headband look. And then I brought this long skirt from Ingea. I'm not going to shoot everything, by the way. The short one. I just brought a bunch of pieces I wanted to style, and then we'll see what I end up doing. Basically, got these and brought these in all the colors I have. Um, so I think it'll be cute with boots. Also brought this one. Those are all from Lux to Kill. I brought my black blazer from Weekday. I brought these white leg pants from Lux to Kill. I actually have I actually have a lot of Lux to Kill stuff. Um, I bought this denim corset top and this mini skirt. This denim top, maybe if it matches. And oh, there's another headband in there. So that is all that I brought, and then I have a few things here, like. some more denim here i have these two jackets which i think will be cute to do some content in i have this top and another top so yeah i'm just gonna get going i think i'm first just gonna shoot over here because the sun is out and the lighting is really nice right now but let me first put on my outfit and then we'll move on Just filmed like a bunch of TikToks. I don't know why I was feeling funny and my hair looked cute. So I was like, let me record some TikToks. So I have a few in my drafts and I just uploaded a few. Um, I'm done shooting content. I didn't shoot too many looks, but that's okay because I have enough now for like at least a week, maybe even two. So 
because I don't even post that much on my Instagram. So I'm just going to tidy up here. Um, I still need to pack my orders, so I'm going to do that next, and then I'm going to ship them out and go. Mm -hmm. I think I might get go to the coffee shop and like roll one at my mom's and take it home to smoke later. Um, and then I need to, I'm probably going to like smoke and edit the content that I shot because I need to like edit the photos and edit like, um, edit a few reels. So I only did like, well, I did two videos and then I have like two to three feed posts. So should be enough. Like it's nothing sponsored. It's just like organic, like fun content. So I really like the last look I did with the wig, like. I think it turned out so nice. I'm going to edit that later. But um, yeah, I'm just quickly going to tidy up and then pack my orders. I was getting a little carried away with TikTok and I'll take 4 p.m. <laughs> a driver's lesson at nine like a super early one so i got up early um i'm gonna make this real quick but i can't find the lid of this blender so i'm gonna have to figure something out for that what the fuck is that lid i really don't know making this because I forgot to buy yogurt yesterday so I don't have any yogurt but the strawberries I bought are so good like I need to eat them I don't want to waste them so I'm gonna eat it with this maybe I'll just use like I'll just use this on top don't know where have I put it no this is actually an issue because I can't find the lid and clearly that didn't work like where the fuck is that lid at I literally have no idea like it's not where it's supposed to be okay I have another blender I don't know if it works I'm just gonna grab it and see if that I can use that because I need to make breakfast I need to hurry up because I don't have much time so I actually thought I'd thrown this one out because it broke, but apparently I didn't. I think it might have been something else that I threw out. But... Ugh. This is a mess. Let's try this again. Drowning. There's been a whole lot. 
lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you. But I don't wanna be like you. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying. I am back from my driver's lesson. The storm outside is crazy. Um, and I need to sh ship out some packages, but I'm not going to go out right now. I did pack them, but Luke and I are going to grab dinner after we record the podcast today. I don't know if I said that he's coming over today. Um, so when we go out for that, I'm going to ship out this packages because actually, yeah, we'll have to leave a bit early if we do that. Yeah, yeah. Because it's so windy, I literally almost flew away. <laughs> um, I'm gonna finish editing my vlog, the weekly vlog, because I have a little bit more to go through. So I'm gonna finish that now so that it's done for the weekend and then I can upload it on Sunday. I'm so excited to upload it because I've been wanting to like upload it earlier, but I really want to stick to like the Sunday for like my weekly uploads. And I couldn't do it last Sunday because I was still vlogging that day. So I'm just like so excited to upload it and see how you guys like it because it's the longest vlog I've ever done. And I don't know. I feel like I'm just like really excited to make this like a, a goal for this year to just like have a vlog every week and like really stick to that. Um, I did also film that chit chat get ready with me. I'm gonna edit that next week um, and upload it as well. Like for now, like I'm sticking to the weekly vlogs every week, and if I have another video, then I will upload that as well. Like I definitely want to upload more than. I definitely want to <clears throat> upload more than once a week, but I also don't want to put too much pressure on myself. So, anyways, I got a PR package from Benefit. So I quickly wanted to unbox that. Well, I already took it out of the box, but hello. I wanted to, oh, shit. The fabric is like stuck in the, oh God. The fabric is like stuck in the zipper, shit. Oh my god okay whatever <laughs> i can't get it to open it is a cute little makeup bag though oh and you can do this i just need to make sure that i don't break the zipper because i'm definitely going to use it oh my god the fabric is like all up in there what did i get i got a 24 hour brow setter i think i have one of these already maybe i'll give this to luca because i know he likes this one and I already have one, I think. I think I might have two, even. And then I got a fluff up brow wax. Oh, I think this is new. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, nice. Let me try that. Because I don't have anything on right now. I feel like I already have to dye my brows again. Like, they grow out so fast. Cute. <sighs> Thank you, Benefit. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's a new product. Nice. So I bought this digital planner for GoodNotes like literally a few months ago and I never ended up using it. It's so dumb. But I kind of picked it back up to plan out my content. And I also have like daily planner pages in there so i'm using that right now because i would want this eventually in my my louis vuitton the planner that i ordered but i'm not gonna have that for a few weeks so i kind of want to just use this for now i'm using it today for the first time kind of like the daily planner page to see how i like it um Aside from my desk planner, which is more of like a weekly overview. Um, and I'm just using this month to really try out different things, try out different planning methods to see what works best for me because I was kind of doing the same thing for a while. And like also with Notion, like I was using Notion for a long time, but like I feel like that just still like isn't my preferred way of planning. I do like Notion as like a database for like all of my notes and everything. I think when it comes to planning like notion is not my favorite like their calendar is not my favorite feature it's good if you just want to put in like appointments but i don't think their calendar is nice to like 
plan out more than that. So I'm giving this a try and then I use Google Calendar just to put in like appointments and stuff and things that I kind of need to repeatedly do every week um, because I can access this from anywhere, like on my phone, on whatever. But yeah, anyways, oh, I have a facial appointment tomorrow. I'm excited for that because my pores need to be cleaned. Um, and then tomorrow my sister is sleeping over, not my sister that you guys know. I have, I have a lot of siblings. I have a sister from my dad's side. So she's like my half sister. We have different moms, um, but she's sleeping over tomorrow. It's the first time she's sleeping over at my place and I haven't seen her in a long time. So I'm excited for that. I'm not gonna probably vlog when she's here because that's just like personal time and definitely something I like to keep off the internet because we're just gonna be talking about life and updating each other. We always have really good chats. So I'm excited for her to come over. She's gonna sleep over. So um, I should probably get Get some like, well, I can do that tomorrow. I'll get some like snacks and stuff before she gets here so I can be a good host. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm using to plan out. I'll show you. This is what a blank page looks like. I got this on Etsy from Good Monday's paper. So this is a blank page. And it has like my priorities for today. You can write down like three things that you want to achieve for the day. To-do list, daily, daily gratitude, meals self-care notes um in the notes i made like a mini mood board for the day probably not going to do that every day but i was doing this last night and i was just kind of feeling inspired because i'm just such a visual person like even if i write down like i need to do this i love having like visuals to go along with it that just seems to work really well for me so yeah just kind of figuring that out once i've got a system that actually works for me i will do a video on that but it, it's been years and like I the last time I did one I had like the Google Calendar and that was working for me at the time but now like I've changed it up again so I'm just first gonna have to figure out what works for me before I even do a video on that anyways I'm gonna go edit now I'm also gonna plan out when I'm shooting the cover for my my podcast because Luke is gonna help me with that where's my phone I just had to put an alarm that I need to post on Instagram tonight. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's a little update. I am very excited to get into this podcast stuff. We're currently setting up the pod. Let's see. Yeah. Let me get rid of this thing because it's <clears throat> this looks ugly in the background. So this is how we film you guys. I'm just filming this on my phone because we're using both cameras, but we're gonna record two episodes. Actually I need to put on some lip product and then we're gonna get started, period. so late i don't know why i need to go to bed so late like it was 2 a.m or something so now i'm gonna make coffee and then i'm gonna jump in the shower real quick i have a facial appointment today at 10 30 in the morning so i'm gonna take you guys along to my facial 
Um, and then my sister's coming over today for a sleepover. I think I said that already. Yeah, I haven't really been to the gym <laughs> besides, was it Tuesday? Um, if I didn't have my appointment this morning, I would go, but since I went to bed so late, I already knew, like, I am not going to be up at 6 just to go to the gym. I'm already going more than I was for months, so, you know, something. So, yesterday, Luke and I went out for dinner. It was really nice. We walked down the right, which it was so bad. We were soaking wet, but we did have a fun time at dinner. Um, we recorded two podcast episodes, all of that went great. But I'm going to see you guys when I go to my facial. Um, I'm just going to have my slow morning, take a shower, and get ready. Um, hopefully, the wind has gone down so I can take Blue on a walk because the past two days it's just been so bad. And he hates the wind so bad. Like, there's no point in me going out because he's just going to roll around. He's going to try to run and then he's going to try to roll around on the ground. Like, <laughs> there's no point in walking him. So, I'm going to check in a little bit to see how the weather is and... Hopefully we can go on a quick little walk even if it's like five ten minutes like it's something anyways i think i'm going to set a few smaller goals that i want to focus on each week because i feel like i try to do like everything in one week and then i fail at certain things and then it makes me feel bad about it or i'm like disappointed or i'm like why can i not do this especially when it comes to like working out and like meal prepping. I want to do all of it, but then because I want to do so much, like I can't do all of it. So before the new week starts and when I plan the next week, I'm just going to set a few like smaller weekly goals so that I can focus on each thing individually and I'm not trying to do everything at once, if that makes sense. Anyways, I'm gonna go enjoy my coffee. Chica 
moment you got it It's yours, it's yours, it's yours My love, just rest assured I'm yours, I'm yours Tell me what you're running for You don't have to try so home for a few hours i did my facial and my skin looks so good it's so nice and glowy and my pores and my nose were so clogged and she cleaned them all out here we go no filter um okay so my sister's she can arrive any minute now and i went ahead and kind of tidy up the apartment i like vacuum just kind of cleaned up and made sure that i was like ready for someone to come in because i've been living in it all week and it was getting kind of messy so the bedroom's all nice i got her like her towel and i'm lighting a candle and it smells like vanilla in here um like clean pillowcases for her I kind of, I moved this one over here. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like that looks nice there. Because it has so many pretty things on it and I want to display it. So, yeah, this is kind of my bedroom right now. I'm going to do an apartment tour once I finish my second bedroom. Because I have it and, and like I just don't want to do the tour before I do that. Um, yeah, this is my bedroom right now. And I tidied up here. This is my little entryway. I have some trash to take out, but this is my entryway. This is like a quick little, I'm not going to show everything, but um, let's see. I tidied up here. Blue's taking a nap. Tidied up this. Um, and my little computer section and yeah i also vacuumed the couch real quick because i have a dog ew why do i what's this there's a stain maybe that's food i was eating on this last night <laughs> oh no um yeah just lighting candles i love lighting vanilla candles just a small vanilla it's just my favorite oh this is a good spot i do have to stand on my toes i'm just quickly gonna take off my to-dos on my planner things that i've got done will is snoring yeah so i'm gonna take the rest of the day off and just spend the rest of my day and night with her um and then tomorrow i'm gonna make the thumbnail for my vlog and then that's like all ready to go and i'm gonna just brainstorm sims 4 content because i keep saying i'm gonna continue to make content and like record and i keep not doing it because i kind of don't have a plan like i want to really do it but i don't really know exactly what i want to do yet so i think i need to just do like a brainstorm session and make maybe a vision board or something because I've noticed that if I first do a brainstorm, like it gives me a better kickstart to like a new project. And I feel like sometimes I try to jump into something too fast and I'm not, I don't even know what I'm doing. And then I kind of end up not really finishing it or I just kind of do like a few things and then I quit, you know what I mean? Because then I feel like maybe it, it's not working for me, but when I was doing it, I was enjoying it. So yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna do like a brainstorm on that um i think i want to do a closet clean out again because i just i really want to kind of upgrade and like renew my wardrobe but i first just want to get rid of everything that i don't want anymore because there's i still have so many clothes to sell and i told myself that i'm allowed to like buy a bunch of new clothes again when i've sold all of it or like most of it 
so yeah like i buy a few things here and there but i try not to shop too much because i want to be very intentional with my purchases and i want to like i'm working on like creating a wish list now so that i really think about if like if i want to buy something and why i want to buy it how i'm going to wear it because over the past few years especially with this job like i've gotten so many different pieces from brands free clothes and like a lot of things that i wear once and then never wear and i just like don't want to do that anymore like i want to even when i get gifting from brands like i really look at like okay am i actually gonna wear this do i really like this is this something i'm just buying to style or am i buying this that wear or because sometimes i like to style certain pieces for like content but i don't necessarily want to like wear it outside and i think that's fine i think i want to do a little closet clean out this weekend i'm kind of like really having fun with this ipad thing but it's not convenient for when i'm on the go so when i'm on the go like this morning when i had to leave my house and i wanted to get a few things done outside the house i just put it in my reminders but i think it's good to like do a combination of everything like i don't think you have to stick to one thing because this is just great for when i'm at home but if i'm outside like i'm not gonna pull out my ipad to check my schedule for the day you know what i mean i just got out the shower my sister already left i had such a good time we're like the same and it's funny because we knew about each other we don't have the same mom right but we obviously have known about each other for our whole lives but we only really got to know each other on a deeper level when i was like i don't know how old i was like maybe like 16 or 17 um definitely a bit more rude maybe i was younger actually i can't remember exactly but we like got to know each other when we were way older and we're so alike like every time she like catches me up on her life i'm like i'm going through the exact same thing um which is really nice because we get to really have deep conversations and it's always like a very understanding and like judgment-free conversation like i just got out the shower i'm getting ready i'm actually gonna go to my mom this afternoon um before i go i'm just gonna um finish my vlog thumbnail and like schedule it to go live tomorrow I'll just spend some time with her there gonna bring blue with me besides that i'm just having like a chill saturday tomorrow i'm gonna do my little closet clean out because yesterday before my sister came i already did some cleaning around the house so i don't have to do a deep clean tomorrow today is just gonna be kind of like a day off um i would say which i think is good to have oh i need to put on sunscreen the weather is so shit it's literally just raining all day like super gloomy and depressing which is just great but i'm still gonna go out with blue because because of the wind we haven't been able to go out on many walks recently and i really just want him to be outside so i decided i'm just gonna walk with him to my mom so that he gets to be outside for a bit even though he's probably gonna roll around from the wind and everything we're just gonna push through um i'm just gonna get dressed right now i'm just gonna wear something super basic i've been trying to re-wear my clothes because like i would like wear a pair of pants once and then throw it in the wash even though it wasn't really dirty and i wouldn't like re-wear it for a while because i didn't like repeating outfits but now i don't really care like i'm trying to actually just wear my stuff more because why else do i have it like i don't just have like a piece of clothing just to wear it once i want to be more mindful of that so i'm just gonna throw on a basic all black outfit film my ootd i will have a what i wore this week up i think after this goes up like the week after um so keep an eye out for that but yeah i'm just gonna go get dressed right now um i might vlog little bits of today if not i'll see you guys tomorrow but y'all just having a chill saturday out of there bit <laughs> So I actually just got home and I decided to just pick up the camera. We walked in the rain and <clears throat> it was so windy at one point. Like we almost flew away. We had to actually just like stand still and wait for the wind to like be done. Um, let me put this on my tripod. Um, I'm actually going to start my antidepressants tomorrow because I think I've had my ovulation today. I can tell. 
So just to make sure I don't have that instant dip, I'm gonna start taking it tomorrow. I'm just doing the dishes real quick and I'm gonna sit on the couch and do like a brainstorm session because I've just realized that I keep having all these things that I want to do and I like start them but I don't have an actual plan of what I want to do so that's I need to like create that now it's 6 25 I kind of had a late lunch so I'm gonna make dinner a bit later but I ticked off all my priorities of today as well as let's see Look at this I've been loving my iPad recently. I don't know. Kind of actually loving this. I know I ordered the Louis Vuitton thing. Maybe I should use the Louis Vuitton like um, thing as a journal. <gasps> That's a, yeah. Or maybe like a journal and like a brain dump and stuff like that because I'm kind of enjoying my iPad for planning. And I don't want to necessarily like stop doing this just because I'm going to get like a paper planner or like a... It's really all about the actual like binder thing, right? It's not really about what's inside of it because you can put whatever you want inside. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make that my journal. Yeah, good one, good one. And I'm just gonna keep this because I like that I can switch between like weekly view, monthly. I haven't used the weekly because I'm using my desk planner, but I actually wanna use my desk planner, I think, to write down all my content for the week. Writing out when I have to film what and like, what I need to get done what day. And then I can put it on here. Yeah. See, I'm just trying to figure it out. And it's okay to like use multiple things. Like I feel like because of Notion and like the way Notion is set up, like it's so convenient. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like maybe because of all the content I was watching like surrounding Notion as well, I feel like ah! I feel like I had to like put everything into notion but notion just doesn't work for me on like every single thing you know what i mean my sister she brought this wine i don't know why actually can i show this mm, this is youtube okay so my sister brought some alcoholic beverage and i don't drink this alcoholic beverage um but it's actually not too bad because i usually don't like how this tastes at all but this one's not too bad so period i'm just gonna drink that tonight as well have a glass yeah oh my god i saw this little girl i saw this girl on twitter she was braiding the fuck out of her own hair and she was so good i was like what that's crazy she was like separating the strands as she was feeding it in i was like damn like i am i an embarrassment <laughs> no but i mean that's why there's hairstylists right and for girls like me that just can't fucking do it i'm gonna watch some true crime because that's just been like my enjoyment actually no i'm not gonna watch any in georgia because i want to like focus Matthew's Bizarre Interrogation by JCS Inspired. Yeah, I've been watching Ginny and Georgia. As much as I love this like show, I think that's so cringy as well. And like, I don't know, some of the acting just, I don't know, like it's just like, hmm, it's giving Disney Channel, like, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's an unpopular opinion, I have no idea, but I do like the show. So that's why I like, I keep watching, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I just want to really focus on brainstorming. And I prefer watching like true crime because I'm just listening. Like I don't have to necessarily look at the screen.
woke up just in such a nice way, so I'm feeling really good. Um, it's Sunday today, 7.30. I've been up for a little bit. I'm just making breakfast right now. I planned on my iPad and my digital planner, and I have a good schedule for today and next week as well. So, I know I always feel so refreshed when I've planned out my days and my weeks properly, so feeling good about that. Um, let me just make this real quick, and then I'll have a look at what I'm going to do today. Today I'm uploading the first weekly vlog. I'm so excited. I just have to finish the description links, and then it's all ready to go. Um, I'm just so excited to see like how you guys are gonna enjoy it and like the response like I don't know I'm just really really excited and I just feel really good about like where I'm going right now and it's funny because in my December vlog I was talking about how I felt kind of lost and I didn't really know where I was going and I still feel like that but I feel like I have a better vision now of like what I'm trying to do and like I know, I just don't feel as, like, worried as I did, but also I'm pretty sure at that time I was going through my PMDD week, so it's not weird that I was feeling like that. I'm going to start my antidepressants again today. I think I said this yesterday as well, just because I don't want to experience that, like, dip. I just feel like I'm slowly finding balance. So now that I'm getting kind of the grasp of, like, my new work routine and stuff like that, um, I think next week I'm going to make working out my priority and like going three days because I, for both weeks of this year, I've only gone once. Um, so I went one time last week and then this week I went once and I really want to go at least three times a week. So for next week in my planner, I made it kind of like a priority to, to work out and to follow my workout routine. Cause I did create a routine for myself, um, I just have to obviously follow it, so... show you guys how I do um, like a quick wig install with the headband without like laying down the wig because it's so easy and I want to try to only straighten my hair once a month or maybe twice but that means I'm gonna wash it every two weeks because I don't know I feel like I can do it like right now my hair is almost I think I did it on Monday and it's Sunday right now. It's been almost a week, but my hair really isn't that dirty yet. So I feel like I can go another week and like I can still wear this hair in like buns and stuff without having to wash and straighten it. But this is also a great way to just keep my hair protected. I am not going to braid my hair, but just using some of this stuff. And then gonna just take that and like put it on my hair to really moisturize it at this point i'm not gonna wear it down or anything i don't care if it looks greasy i just want it to be nice and moisturized and this gives your hair such a nice shine especially if you do like a bun also this tripod is a lot shorter than i thought it was gonna be so the angle might not be the best but we'll deal with it for now so i am gonna have the front part of my hair out so i'm just gonna do my parting. Do parting like this. Let me put you over here. here. This is better. So I'm gonna have my parting out. And then I'm gonna take <clears throat> I'm gonna take my wig cap and plop it on like this. And then I just tuck this in and like kind of move it around so it's flat kind of like that i'm gonna pull this back like so wait i need to get bobby pins 
And this is also a great way to use any of your like old wigs, maybe if the lace is like damaged. This one, I think if I washed it and I like plucked the lace, it could look good, but I'm just not gonna do that right now. The hair is really nice though. I need to wash it, it's kind of, kind of dirty. But yesterday I walked in a rain with it and so now it's like all tangled. I also kind of want to dye this wig black because I think it would be so nice. So I do pull it to the front for a second. This is what the lace looks like right now. And then I'm going to tuck this behind my ears. It's going to look crazy for a bit like that. And I'm going to have this front part out. So now you can see this. Okay. Then we're going to take a headband. You can get these headbands anywhere from like ASOS, PLT to like Amazon to probably Shein. I mean, don't shop from Shein, but if you do, I'm sure you can find it there. Um, so now we have this, right? I'm going to go ahead and straighten out this hair. Just going to speed that up for you. You want to style the hair, whatever, however you want to do it. I'm going to add some wax to the top so that it stays down because there's a lot of flyaways. I'm sure I'm going to band like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and strain it with my T3 shader. In the meantime, I've been listening to um, Tariq Ali his podcast and i like him a lot if you need someone new to watch don't prove me wrong prove you right don't prove me wrong prove you all straightened i don't know what it looks like from the back i'm pretty sure it's not too big like i think it looks okay i'm gonna do my baby hairs now using this edge control <clears throat> and this little brush i got from zara home like a while ago i think it was zara home i love it it's so aesthetic <laughs> Sorry, this angle is bad. Oh my god, it's so cold. I just need to air up my room because it smells like burnt hair. I don't know if my hair is going to survive outside. I might have to also put on a hat because I'm not going to risk my wig flying off. It's literally so windy. Like, it's not okay. So yeah, this is something you could do if either if you don't have time to lay down your wig or if you don't know how to lay down wigs or if you just have an old wig which the lace is fucked or you just want to wear a headband with a wig um instead of buying an actual headband wig you can just do this anyways that's my hair done little hair tutorial i'm actually not going to put on makeup because i kind of i'm already happy with this like my hair is done i already feel like i got ready um i'm gonna do some journaling before i continue on with my day <coughs> and get my to-dos done so that I can start my closet clean out. I'm literally just going to go through everything and see whatever I feel like I don't wear anymore or that I just don't think I'm going to wear anymore and I'm going to take it out. Anything that I'm not sure about, I will keep on the side. I'm going to like try on and yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I'm going to listen to music while I do this. My word is born. Don't spit no lies A daughter of the sunshine But every blue moon I come alive at night I like lace and I like braids But I love my
but I keep everybody at a distance, distance, distance. If I build it, will y'all really come? Come, 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 come. Bought all these panties, but I really don't wear none. I like boys and I like girls, but I love my closet room so much more organized now the back still isn't done but i did tidy it up so that it wasn't as much of a mess and then all my clothes are nice and organized i'm now going to go to my studio um first i'm going to drop off all these clothes that i have in my cart and then i'm gonna run a few errands um and then i'm gonna clean so i'll see you guys i'm at my studio i got myself some mcdonald's for lunch, because I was like, why not? <gasps> so before I start, I'm gonna eat that. Um, I'll do a mini mukbang. I never do that, but let me first quickly unpack the groceries I got. It's really not a lot. Um, I got a few Fantas, some tea and sugar, so I can make tea here, because I do have a home. And then I just got tape and trash bags to pack orders with um i got some of these because these are always great like in case i don't feel good and i quickly need to eat something like those are always nice to have so i think if i come to work here for a day i'm just gonna bring food or i'm gonna like buy it when i'm coming because i i just don't come here often enough yet to really have food but sugar i got just a random tea i've literally never had this but it's a morning one and i didn't want anything that was like a sleepy time tea, so sleepy time. Let me turn on my fridge because it's been off. Is there anything in here? No. I'm turning on my fridge and I'm going to put my Fanta in there. Is that going to fit? Yeah. Put it on top. Oh, it doesn't fit. Okay. Here. Everything else in here is just tape and trash bags. I quickly also returned my Urban Outfitters order. Well, it was just a hat that I got because I want to replace this one because I wear this one so much and I want one without just like all black. But it didn't fit the way I wanted it to, so I ended up returning it. Um, and that's something I've been, like, really, I don't know, I guess making myself do because I used to buy things, and if I didn't like it, I'd be too lazy to return it, or I'd just be like, oh, maybe I'll wear it, and I'd never wear it. So I'm really trying, like, whenever I buy something, if I don't like it or I'm not going to wear it, I just return it right away because it's just a waste of money. Um... But I'm going to have my McDonald's now. I got something super simple. Two cheeseburgers without pickle and six chicken nuggets with barbecue sauce. Start with the chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. I haven't had McDonald's in so long. That was just good. Mm -hmm.
less than you Just wish that I knew How something like that could happen Maybe it's just in passing Cause nothing is everlasting, no But like really though How do you know that I can overcome All of the obstacles She just looked me in the eyes Said it's gonna be alright Cause I cleaning but my vacuum died so i haven't finished vacuuming yet i'm just gonna wait for it to charge um i cut off some of my paper and then used clear tape so that it looks more clean and then i put this mirror in the corner because i've been using it in front of my backdrop i heard something um i put this lamp here i'm waiting for them to still fix the windows which they haven't because it's been fucking leaking as you can tell i think you can see on the floor as well there's like a whole pattern going down um i put this over here i organized all the clothes into different boxes so that i'm gonna do like one box is one drop if that makes sense or at least i'm gonna try to do that maybe like one box a week or something because i really just want to get through this and i feel like it's just taking me way too long so i still have all of these it's insane i put all of my hangers here this is just kind of empty um <clears throat> i put my rug down i didn't do my kitchen but um just kind of organized this and then i gave my my plant some water because i hadn't done that in weeks and i'm surprised it's not fully dead yet but i don't know i'm gonna try to keep it alive and make sure that it thrives again maybe it's gonna grow really big i don't know um and yeah this is just kind of the same i just have to vacuum like there's just a lot of dirt on the floor but my vacuum died and it's like a tiny little dyson one so it doesn't have like an insane amount of power um i don't even know if i'm going to be able to vacuum today because i don't know if it's going to charge in time if not i'll do that like sometime this week because it's just vacuuming but i'm glad that i organized and cleaned up here so that it's all ready to go for next week when i shoot content i'm just gonna pack a few vintage orders and then drop those off and go to my mom um i just need to dye her roots real quick um and i'm gonna roll up at my mom and then take it home i was thinking of bringing this mirror back home and using it in my closet room to create like my vanity area that i want to do um on like my glass desk that i have in there because i don't have like a i don't want to buy anything anymore because i've just bought so much and like 
I have a lot, so I just wanted to use what I have. So I was thinking of bringing it back because I don't really use this mirror for anything. I never take pictures in it. So I might do that one of these days, um, like rent a car with my mom and just bring that home because it is really heavy so that this month I can finish my closet room and kind of create like my, um, what's it called? My vanity corner. So yeah. Hopefully these vlogs are motivating you and inspiring you to get your things done.